Hi everybody, welcome to Leon's Chainsaw Parts and Repair. Been going through the, the process on this uh, Super 1130G uh, for Steven. And I'm going to be buttoning the fuel tank back up in a second, but I thought, well, I'm just going to check and see if it's venting properly. And it's not. The fuel cap is not, which is no big surprise, but I uh, had a customer email well, through the website about a week ago. He had a 925. I think it was a 925. Might have been a super easy. Either way, it doesn't matter. Same oil cap. He said, no matter what I do, if I leave that cap tight, I'm going to put it in the case, and I'm going to come out in a week or two, and every drop of oil will have been, will have leaked out. And that's counterintuitive because the cap's way up on top, but that's what those saws do. I've seen it myself, and there's an easy way to fix it. It's not the cap gasket. They do go bad and replace it if it looks crummy. But I didn't what it is. Almost all of Homelite's saws use the cap to vent the tank. And by vent the tank, I don't mean let air out. I mean let air in. As you draw fuel or oil out, you've got to replace it with air. And they do that with their duckbill valves. Now we've seen them very commonly on the uh, newer saws, but they're they're not called out explicitly in the parts lists on the older saws. And that's because they just figured, well, hell, a guy can buy a new cap. Well, these caps, especially this one, this fuel cap that's on this uh, 1130G, uses the same thing. Now, you can get a special fuel cap tester probably if you looked hard enough, but you can just blow through it. And if you can blow through it, and there's the little vent hole right there, and I could feel that air hitting me in the chin. It's not working. Air should never go out of the cap, only in. So, anyway, this question that came up, he said, uh, I've replaced the cap with even a new one, and they both have the, the bronze-centered filter, and he said, that just won't quit. Do you know what's going on? I said, yeah. The duckbill valve underneath that is bad. And he came back and said, no, there's no duckbill valve. It's just a bronze filter. That's, you know, I can blow air either way. And I think he was getting a little annoyed with me because he didn't feel that I was hearing what he, what he had written in the email. And I said, no, I, I understand exactly what you uh, are telling me, but you should not be able to push air through. And he also said that he had pushed solvent through. That's the worst thing you can do for one of these unless you're replacing that duckbill because that solvent brake clean carburetor cleaner is going to destroy that rubber. So if you've got air or solvent movement backwards from the filter out, it's a problem. These are easy to fix. Super, super easy to fix. Get your needle nose vice grips. Don't go crazy. Get them adjusted so that you can get a good bite but not crush and destroy the filter. That might be a little too loose, but we're going to try it. Just do a light twist. It's going to come right out. All right. Take a look at that. That tube that looks solid from the other side has a hollow core to it. Your duckbill valve wants to live right in there. This one's so disintegrated, there's next to nothing left. I can see it melted into the wall in there. And I'm going to clean this tube out with probably some brake clean and really get it blown out. There's no residual left in the cap, but the center of the cap vents all the way through to that little tiny hole right there. And that is how that will let air back into the fuel tank. So just because you see this, this, when you're looking at the bottom of the cap, don't forget on the other side there's this and some of the 925 oil caps and super easy oil caps did use this style filter most of the time you see the aluminum tube and it's real obvious that there's a duck bill not always they use this one too so just a little tip to help you guys avoid some frustration